Welcome to video number 28. This is the most probably last video of pagination in SSRS. After that, I think I'm gonna start with formatting videos. All right, so let's get this thing over with. All right, so the thing is, uh, what I did is if you're following along, then there was a group uh, in between these two guys. I have removed that group because the thing, uh, what we want to do, it doesn't work. The thing is, uh, uh, when we are doing the preview, and we are going next next we are not seeing the header as we move next <clears throat> and as we scroll down we are losing the track of headers so I'm not sure what is Chang what is this date and what are they doing here so I need to you know a little um, descriptive uh, in order to help the user what they are looking at right so let's get started and get this thing quickly done so what can I do is I have to choose the column groups all right and then I need to put them in advanced mode next thing uh, let me drag this guy a little bit inside all right and then I'm gonna choose a static under the row group a row group below which you will find a static row you need to select that and then there are a few tweaks you need to done now this option it says repeat on new page you need to mark it as true and keep it keep it group you need to make it as after simply save it <coughs> and preview it the moment you do the preview all right give me some space I'll close the toolbox alright so as you can see this is my first page on the second page I'm seeing my headers constantly and this is what I want and this is really cool but um, the design is a bit dirty so in order to make you know uh, consistency I'm gonna stick it right on to the left hand side corner now let's preview it you won't find a difference first page second page third page and on and on so this is good so what we did basically we chose the static option and we configured these two properties this one and this one now what if I tell you like you know when you scrolling down I want these dudes serial number product name order name order date this should move along with that can we do that in SSRS oh yes we can do that but again the single seam tweak again you need to choose a static which is right above the details and in between the row groups right so the moment you choose that then you need to configure the properties called as fixed data all right and mark it as true the moment you mark that thing as true and you save it now watch the magic you can see all right this is you got some bullshit around here and you scroll down as along with that you know the scrolling your head is scrolls along with that and you're looking at the record number 23 you understand the meaning of each and every column what it represents so this is cool this is not just cool this is super duper cool right so I hope uh, you like this video and you understand what I was trying to show you alright so if this video helps you anyway or if you like this video then please subscribe to my channels share my videos with your friends alright and thank you for watching this video once again good night and take care.